My name is Sam Graybill Jr. I'm going to talk about my uncle Brian Graybill, who was raised in Richfield or near Richfield in Snyder County, West Perry Township. Entered in the service April 30th, 1918 at Middleburg and was assigned to Camp Lee, Virginia for basic training. After only 25 days in camp, he sailed from Newport News, Virginia to Bordeaux, France. After three months of hard training, they left for the front and were stationed near Verdun in the Argonne, where he remained until the armistice was signed. I think he enjoyed what he was doing. Uh, he never talked much about the front, the actual battles, but he was at the front with the artillery. He, one of the things he mentioned was how hard it was to move the artillery pieces because it rained so much and it was so much mud. And he mentioned in the one letter that the large guns that took eight head of horses to move them and sometimes they were in the mud up to the belly of the horses. He does mention things like that. Um, in one letter, he mentions that it was hard to see our boys fall. Other than that, he didn't say much about the actual battles, but he was there. The armistice was signed. Then he was transferred to the 149th Field Artillery, what they referred to as the Rainbow Division. And one of the things that we have is a book called the History of the Rainbow Division that he was in. And then they marched from France into Germany. Uh, he referred to it as the Great Hike because it was on foot. It took him uh, approximately six or seven weeks to walk with their artillery pieces and their horses. And one of his letters, he mentions that they had 80 head of horses that they took care of. And he, I think he enjoyed helping take care of the horses because he was a farm boy. And uh, once they were in Germany, they were on guard duty along the Rhine River. One of his highlights of being in the army was being in the band. When they were in Germany, they, they had a band Brian talked often about being in the band and he had this picture at his house and he would unroll this picture and show it to people and show that where he was on the picture. He mentioned in, in one of his letters dated April 22nd that he was on his way home. That's April 22nd of 1919. On, a, on the German ship, the Leviathan, the largest ship on the water. And the Navy took this ship from the Germans during the war. He mentioned that he thought when they got back to New Jersey that he would be discharged and left to come home. When they got to New Jersey, the one general uh, told them the general was from Chicago. He wanted the band to go to Chicago to march in the victory parade. So he uh, went on a train to Chicago and then was discharged in May 12, 1919, Camp Grant, Illinois, after the victory parade in Chicago. I think it's important because it's first person. He was there and he wrote this stuff. It wasn't written a hundred years later, it was written as it happened. As a family, we feel very fortunate to have these letters and these photographs. I think that's the only way really to preserve the history is with these things.